What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. Today, we're going to be looking at heads up scenarios, all the stack that. So let's get started. Recording in trial. Is there a free lunch for him with King Five suited? I would just I would click uh, orange. Is this not the limp? You probably could limp I it at some point. I can see it as a limp or a raise. I think our most common raises are, of course, our top value and stuff that's a little bit worse than this for bluffs, like sort of queen do suited, maybe, or something around there. Okay. That's my guess. I think these ranges are going to be uh, way more aggressive than just like blind versus blind ranges and like full ring. Yeah. Yeah, well, heads up is king high, king, a suited king, not almost top of your range. Heads up or up there. Uh, yeah, it's up there. It's a it's a good hand for sure. Yeah. Top what? Like top fifteen percent almost. Yeah. Okay, so not queen do suited. The bottom of the range for bluffing that I was talking about is like nine do suited, eight eight do suited. Okay, so twenty five big blind heads up. You almost play any two, right? I didn't think we needed to play that wide, but here it is. And then raising strategy. It's a little weird. It's like semi-polar, but then king, like, there's like almost three regions of hands. There's like a top and a bottom and a middle, and king five suited is kind of the middle, actually. Because, like, of course, you have kings in there. You have eight, three suited, but then you have King six suited. That's kind of middle. Yeah, it's probably like a little reasons. bit of everything, right? Yeah. I, I, I guess I'd be curious about like what his worst defend versus a uh, min raise is. And that might kind of uh, shed some light on this strategy. I think like five yeah, is going to be. I think King Do suited is getting a bunch of folds from his offsuit deuces. So, like, it's not really that exciting to raise King Deuce, King tr Three suited and get folds from Nine Deuce, Nine Three. All right. So, he's starting, he folds all the way up to fives. And that's probably like why um, fives is going to make maybe the floor. I don't know. Yeah, it makes a good raise because you get called by Queen Five, Jack Five, Ten Five, Nine Five. Yeah. How do we handle it? Is this it? I would, I would play check here. I think this is kind of. I would uh... play check here. I think you don't want to be betting too often, blind, blind v blind, or heads up. Um, and a lot of people kind of carry through heuristics from other situations. I think are not that helpful of like range betting. And I don't, I don't definitely don't want to range bet here. Okay. I think I think the two back doors and the over is enough to is enough to bet in position. That's what I think. I mean, I'm not saying that it's like bad. We certainly have a hand. I think we're often kind of bluffing with the best hand and getting folds from like like just trash bottom of range stuff from him. Right, which has equity. Was, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I agree. It does have equity. Yeah, you need to make it a straight draw. Or straight yeah. completed. Actually completed straight, yep. So, you see how polar that you see how polar that strategy is? It's like not betting. That's that's a big bind. That's the donk strategy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at it. Still Look still very that. still very extremely polar. polar. Yeah, extremely yeah. polar. So mostly like ninety to fifty ish. So why do we are we so polar? Because it connects with his range? And there's a completed straight. I mean, like, how excited are you to bet ace high, quote unquote, for value and then get raised on it? Like, ace four. You often have the best hand, but when you get action, what are you getting action from? Because usually when there's locked up equity, you don't bore. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit different when you have basically. Uh, when you're at the. Maybe it's. Yeah, when, yeah, I think it's a heads up thing just because you have so I would many treat cards in range. I would treat this less as like a completed equity and more like a hyper draw you board because, you know, any queen has some kind of backdoor straight draw, any 10, and like both players are going to be staying in with like any piece of anything. Yeah. So if you change it to a flush draw, so like if you make the seven a heart or a spade, does it further pull?
polarize the strategy or does it condense a little more? I think it might even make it more extreme. So it goes from 57 to 58. Uh, bet sizing's actually dropped down a little Came bit. down a little bit. There's like more a of the, bit. the 50. A little less blue and purple, a little more pink and orange. Yep. Okay, so let's take it back to the um, to the example that we're playing and see what we do with a couple different hand classes. So these ones can bet huge a little. Uh, give us the seven of diamonds instead of seven hearts. Yeah, you gotta change the uh, diamond to the diamond. Then let's see, let's see King Five out of curiosity. So that's what kind of what my instinct was. Because but... of the the jack, right? It always has something. You always want to pick the card of the. The back door of the highest suit because the guy can have the the jack in his hand. So, so it it does like this hand has a has a backdoor flush draw and an SPR of six. That makes this one to slow down a little bit. I think if you go over to King Five, you're going to be betting more often than this suited hand. King Five off. Yep, that's a little bit more because yeah, at this SPR. We uh we would like to preserve a slightly deeper SPR for turn and river. Ooh, what's this here? What's going on here? Yeah, this block. I guess they technically have some kind of backdoor draw on a six and a four or on a five and a four. I didn't really think of that when I first saw this board, but it's true. They'll end up bluffing some run out with the bottom end the clubs. Bottom end of the three. Because the club, you know, it, you don't have anything, right? So it just yeah. doesn't mind I that folding. You, uh, I think you're blocking a lot of continues. This is kind of what's going on there, too. Like, if they got 6-9, if they got 6-5, if they've got queen-10, um, you know, queen-9, yeah. just blocks blocks a ton of continues. So that's probably why it's picking those. It's so uh, kind of looking around this, this strategy, it's like, all our good jacks. Yeah. It's splitting we the, slow the play, top pairs, right? Yeah, we split some. We we slow play some some bad jacks, I guess, to have some uh, you know, some protection on on future streets. Pretty much, like most tens and nines are betting. You you hold a little bit in reserve. The straight can slow play a little bit. You see some ten nine suited that does slow down because it's just the super nuts. But then, like king ten, a lot of betting. Queen ten, a lot of betting. I think from like a cutoff versus big blind, you wouldn't think to be betting a lot with 10-8 here. And uh, it is betting a fair bit with the hand like 10-8. That's like good enough. I think that's value. It's not a bluff. Uh, Yeah, I think it's value too. I mean, it's second pair yeah. heads up. I think that's exactly like... in a, yeah, in tighter ranges, you would preserve, you would prefer to hold that hand back. You'd not really bet much with second pair, but here we're just going to. It's second pair, but it's, it's also good. second pair with a direct redraw. Right. Yeah, or yeah. like a blocker to the nuts kind of thing. Yeah. Well, that's pretty. All sick. Right, so you can bet this hand a little bit, but mainly just check. Yeah, check or so, bet pot. Right. So very polar here. So, so polar. you're gonna have a little, a little blue and a lot of green. Full of it. So like check like eighty-ish percent, right? Yeah. Eighty. Yeah. Yep. I didn't think it was eighty though. It looked like All it right. was more. Here. So that's not if, oh no no. All right, if he checks again, you're probably gonna go big here now. Like I think yeah, you need to I, I can't super red one twenty nine is fair. I mean, this hand can shove rivers for value against a like a mediocre jack. I think it's I agree. one size here, no. I don't think you jam. I don't think jamming jamming seems crazy. I would go red or purple. Probably purple because you're 23 deep. You can still shove the river. I can see it both ways. I can see 82. I can see 130. Yep. Yeah. Solver agrees. A lot of checking still, though, which is pretty still checking. Uh, pretty interesting to me. Okay. So once he checks again, this is like, this is, oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. We bet. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, he called, though. I don't so... think it's a good river. 
Uh, yes and no. So he's got queen. T he's going to have like queen X in this range. So um, he's yep. going to have like maybe some queen ten. He's going to have diamonds. I don't think I would jam. Like he, he we still have, have diamonds to bluff with as well. Any ten X that we ended up here with, like a ten six kind of hand or something like that, makes a pretty nice bluff. We have some kind of big bluffs. I don't know. Top pair. It's a good hand. I'm not I might go about two pairs. Heads up. Me either. I might go purple or pink again. Purple, pinkish is what I would probably do. Try to get a call from maybe a queen or an eight or something like that. I don't know. Maybe a bluff catch. I kind of agree. Yeah, I think. I well, we're in position here, head. right? What do you want a bluff yeah. catch? No, he wants no, to, him, for him to get him to bluff, bluff catch. catch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he probably, oh, okay, okay. I mean, he probably bluff catches us with some like Jack Ten type hands. I think so. Yeah, I want to catch his bluff. <laughs> so what? Ten bigs. Uh, to phrase it a different uh, way, Galen, you think he still has calls, basically? Right? Ten bigs or yeah, seven bigs? Yeah, exactly. Um, I think this is the safe seven, game, right? Mixes, I think it mixes both of those. I would probably in game lean more seven. Seven. Mm. Okay, so that oh, I know it was a bad river, but Who then? couldn't Who expect then? this. That, uh, I mean, I guess I don't know. That's pretty interesting to me. Yeah, wonder why. Right? Yeah, I thought heads up, like ranges are so wide, but. Mm hmm. Okay, I guess the queen. big check. I don't know. And then. The queen brings in nothing except ace ten, which he doesn't have, and queen jack. I guess there's a bunch of random ones, like yeah, yeah, queen jack. Maybe he called turn with queen eight. Um, it doesn't block any diamonds, so we could have like queen eight of diamonds. That's like the only really diamond combo that beats us. I think it's just this. Okay, so if you look at the betting strategy, the solver wants to be extremely polar here. Like, it's 2x pot or check, basically. Right. So if you are picking a betting schematic that's that polar, you can't bet a hand like a weak top pair. It just doesn't fit in here. Like, you need a set, a straight, two pairs. Yeah. Yep. Ace kings in there some, but it's even like it's filling in the the middling size that we were talking about. Uh, see, this is interesting, and this is why I think we were incorrect. Like betting that hand for like middling value is probably okay, but um, you need to generate folds with trash, and you can't generate folds with trash by betting like that. Well, we, I think the solver has to protect itself more against like really aggressive check raising strategies that in game we don't have to. So like we are probably more used to like making these kind of unprotected value bets. On yeah, the and um, I, I think the ranges are just wider. So like the the trash to value ratio is a little more off. Like if you look, like the solver's got a bunch of like low suited, trashy hands that want to bluff. So nine um, four. Yeah, they're they're not gonna bluff for like a half pot size or three quarters, right? Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of interesting. I I think that's probably a function of the wider ranges. We win against Jack Six. Yep. I like I like putting that I like putting that King Five into an un into an unbluffed value range. And let him know that he has to overfold his jack because we're getting called by a jack. Mm. We got small enough. And uh, as a reminder, we could have sized up on turn one notch higher. So, so this hand can raise and call it off, which means I think it's good enough to min raise. I'm just clicking the two button. <laughs> it's slipping. Look at that. Yeah, Danny, <laughs> this is too good for an all in. You notice it, it does lose oh. like eight big nights for 100. Well, big. Sorry, I missed that. We we're only 12 big steep. Yeah, I actually yeah. don't mind limping this at all. And I don't hate raising it because, like, you'll just call off. Like, you're not folding. And the, the EVs were dead Falling, close. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I called. Yeah, you're not limping this to fold. Yeah, it's worth it's worth 1.6 big. It's, it's, uh... so, okay, so we're really just, um right. 
limping or jamming at 12. That's interesting. And that's the, it's the solver's preference. Cause you see like, there's still a not all in sizing there. It's just, yeah, it's offered. Yeah. It's preferring just to jam. Yeah. I think it maybe picks up some more min raises at like 14, 15. Uh, wait, this here. This is 13. I love I always jam these like seven, six suited, and people give you the dirtiest looks when you show up with them. 13 yeah, five. People like it. Like live players 14. cannot believe that you jam a hand like seven, six suited, even though it's just correct. <laughs> it's like, oh, you want me to play a pot with you against your like queen six suited? No, thank you. Like, I am not interested in seeing a flop against queen six suited. <sighs> they start talking like, what did he jam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. Love it. All right, so yeah, 15 bigs, we're doing a more raising than all in. Okay, this team. part of the deck, raising, right? I would raise this at 20. Yeah, it's like this mid offsuit stuff, like queen nine, queen eight, queen seven, right? I, it does a tell lot. you what, it might be a lamb, because if we raise, we don't get a better queen to fold, right? I mean, it's kind of limb, limb calling seems better here, no? Yeah. I think you still get called by Jack nine ten nine, which means it's like fair. Mm. Nine of spades. We've got some straight draws. I think we're gonna Whoa. bet this hand. What happened? British Sipa. Oh, you got the slider option here, so you get to pick well, a size. Did you put? I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, is this a heads up thing? I wonder. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. So pick a size, and let's see if we're right then. So I would bet. I don't know, like two and five here. They just deploy an update. <laughs> it looks like it. it's kind of what it looks like. It's kind of... No, I've seen this before. I think you can get rid of it in setting. But yeah, Danny he says like... this is a setting. I've definitely seen this. Might be on display. Might be on modes. Must be in this way, no? Show heads. Show, show, no, show, 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 none show. None of those. This is a bunch of showing. Under, could be under modes or it could be under game. Could be under either one. Learning mode. RNG mode Yeah, try game, Danny says. Uh flop yeah, heads that. up. Hit the cog wheel with heads up and see what pops up. Mm, that's no, that's true so, solution. That's, yeah, yeah, that's solutions. That's not it. That's not it. Uh well, I guess we'll just roll with it, huh? Oh no. I broke it. It's over now, it's gone. Is it oh. back? Okay. Don't worry about it. It never happened. Against a limp, does this also make an attractive jam? I would either jam or check. Because like my goal in jamming is to get him off of like all six X and seven X that I don't want to play pots against. I think you're too deep to do it, no? Yeah, 17, I, you know, I think it's borderline. Otherwise I want to check. I, I definitely don't want to raise his hand because we end up playing out of position against like everything better. Okay, I'm I'm wrong. Excuse what me. is this though? <laughs> gets a lot <laughs> of folds. It's a it gets a big lot of folds. Mm -hmm. Six. That's that gets all. Really I guess that gets big. all the folds you want without going broke. Oh great! I guess so. Yeah, oh, I guess. Oh, I guess oh so. great! We're gonna finish with this. Seems. But you saw it. Uh, it jammed as well. It's still jamming. Mm-hmm. So what? Yeah, four? I think we can. I think we can bet tiny, like two. What is this? Eight percent, fifteen, twenty-three. Yeah, yeah. Danny says bet two and gray, and I'm pretty much in the same. I mean, we want him to fold hands like Jack Ten suited, which I think is feasible. You know, like Jack Ten of clubs. Two big it's not blinds. Be that no. hard. Three big. Ten nine of clubs. Three big blinds, right? Uh, two is closer to like geometric. Gets us off cheaper. Lets us. Yeah. No, yeah, you're you're right. They're both good. Two, three. But it makes sense. His hand is absolute trash. And so we him off any. I feel like he's floating a little bit too much with against that two. You know? Two for 13 is like 
two into seventeen. He folded the Jack Eight, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, he folded Jack Eight, which is a huge win. Yeah, a huge win. I think we, we got what like seven here. big blinds out of that hand. It was really nice. Uh. You could raise this some. I kind of want to check this. I I think our I would strategy raise, facing I would a, a limp should generally be pretty polar. Because like we still have hands like nine four off, right? And then at the top range we have hands like king queen, ace king, ace queen. I don't think we can do this. This is pretty bad. Would... The seven's okay, and you have an overcard. Seven's okay, and you have an overcard. I think I would still bet small-ish. Maybe, I guess, um, up, maybe we, up to half-ish. Yeah, we just have like a lot of unpaired hands, and like his limp calling range should include some stuff like, you know, eight six suited, seven six suited. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's right in here. Yeah, he's definitely got some of that lean. I think if you take a bet pre flop, you probably I would probably still the flop here. Ah, uh, we don't have a spade. I mean, out of position sucks. No spade. Press the check button then. I mean, if we had the king of spades, this is just a yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think like having a six would make it nicer, and sometimes you get a nice turn. There you go. The nuts. Uh, super dynamic. I think it's what? going to go really polar. So checker bet, checker bet, big. Yeah, either five or eight lets you jam river on good runouts. So Oopsie. No, just check. No, I don't check this. Sovereign's a nit. Because we're in, no. we're out of position, so we can still bet the flood, the turn. Okay. Now this is an absolute disaster, is it not? Yeah, just check call. Check call, you said? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Oh, block. 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 It block. It does block. It. One it. One it. One it and induce a bluff that you're going to fold to. You're in for 3x pod. <laughs> there that is, Scotty. Just as um, uh, well induced. Down. Well done. <laughs> no, do not call this bet. Do not call this bet. Fold. <laughs> oh, I want to call. Why? Oh, my God. Why would you want to call? Oh, On what planet? What makes you want to call? Because it's a duck. You could be, you could oh, be yeah. bluffing. I could take right. second place money. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, no. <laughs> You're all in. I all love silver in. medals. Ooh. And all in. All in. Ace five. Let's go. That's just, I'm tired of this game. All right, get it in good. Uh, it's a pretty mandatory raise, and I think it can go smallish because this it? hand. Yeah, biggish. I don't understand when it pulls that one out. We've seen it twice now. I don't get that one. Uh oh. We call. Yeah, it yeah. sucks, but we call. Maybe the idea is it's like. A lot of his limping range is really comfy calling three. So we want to get Yeah, and with us out of position, we just want to like neutralize our range dis or our positional disadvantage. Yeah, it's like a three bet, like a I wish there were like a five size. That might be better. Yeah. I'd be curious at some point to look at one of those like twenty deep. How do we balance between the small size and the big size? Uh, this hand, okay, we saw at 14.5, we've introduced a little bit, fair bit of min raising. We still have small ends, but not in this range, like in this, not in this hand class. I think, I the, like, ooh, yeah. I was in a limb, but I thought it was too weak. A little shallow. It's a, limb, it's a limb call. Yeah, I think we, I think we do more min raising at like queen. At 20, queen 18. Adolf. Well, yeah, and also deeper, yeah. I was going to say like queen nine, queen eight off, maybe a little bit worse. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Maybe like the even worse, right? Like queen. I, feel like four. Queen's, I always think I seven know, off is like the prototypical. Sort of, yeah. Eight, seven. A little bit more down there. 
Yeah. And then we polarize like the other part of the deck, right? Yeah, it's just like aces, ace king, ace queen, ace jack, nine four suited, nine three suited, queen six off. Okay, so we push. Uh I think it's a fold. Yeah. I would call. Could be close. I think it's a fold to a jam, but you call the raise, right? Yeah. In theory, I think it's a call, but you can fold to your in-game opponent. Because they just like always have like a six off here, right? Well, it, I think like uh, no, I don't think it's a good call. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it's too. Is he jamming? Maybe we limp fold all these, and then Queen Jack is the threshold where we were just like going with it a lot. Yeah, I'm considering this might be the threshold. That might, that's probably part of the. Uh, it makes sense. Yeah, reason to limp is that it can withstand aggression. Like you're raising the ones beneath this because they don't want to get limp raised. This one's a little more good. Nice. Oh, true. Okay. And then let's see because that's actually a good one. We limp. Keep that's like often the thing, right? We have that raising range. So like the hands beneath it are mainly limp folding, and the hands above it are mainly limp falling. Although the jam kind of scrambles that. Yeah. Jack is this mixing is... even. Okay. King six suited. Wow. Okay. Queen eight suited. Slam your chips in the middle. Zero EV though. All right. The big zero. Eight seven suited. Slam your chips in the middle. Tell me how it goes. <laughs> eight seven suited. Tim. Big zero. Yeah, I limp called off ten nine suited in a in the Costa Rica game for fifteen. Mm. Right. Did he have a six off? <laughs> Did it he had work? threes. He had threes, he had threes. and I lost, yeah, okay. lost a flip. Well, you're live. Gosh. Yeah. Sucks. Zero. So I knew I, I'd looked at this. I knew it was a thing. Actually, you're supposed to raise call off, but it's whatever. This one is so deep. I feel we can raise. It's a monster. So raise call? I think it might be raise get it in. <laughs> oh. 40. Raise 4 bet? I don't... I mean, Solver, Solver goes pretty bonkers with these hands. Like, where there's only two yeah. ranges, because it's like, how often does he have a better pair? Not that often. One and done? and Yeah, it could be one. It also could be more of a medium bet, because Ace-King often does allow us big bets in other positions. I'm tripling. Yeah, exactly. It's going to make a good triple. Like, oh. if another wheel card comes, that's really nice. And you saw even the 50% was in there. I'm not yeah. tripling anymore. You're not tripling anymore? I am done. Oh, well, it's like... Oh, um, yeah, no, let's triple, right? He okay. kind of has just, oh, yeah, like, he has, like, a raggedy king or, like, a good spade draw a lot. Like, he can have, you know, sort of queen eight of spades or something like that. He can have, like, king six of hearts. I don't really want him to get to showdown with those hands. Or beating Queen High, but you know, you know what I mean. This is blank. Why would you stop betting on turn? Well, it's just like does this belong in the polarized range? Because we are gonna want to polarize like pretty intensely here. Well, might use be deuces for sure, right? Like deuces it might will be always bluff. I say with bet a spade every time. With bet a straight card every time. Why is these fives? Wait, are... no. I didn't notice. How often did we check this flop? Never. Never. Okay, but it's better. When when huh. you raise, I think you bet a lot. You're asking. If we always bet it. If we always bet it, then I think we. I think it's time to give up. I'm I'm being too nitty, but that's what I'm. Gonna I actually bet. don't. I don't remember. Was it never I on the flop? See... All right, Scotty, the net is right. Yeah, we bluff. We we bluff our, we our, this, right? the flop. Also, our heads up, it might change the heuristic a bit. Like, we might not... Do we even <laughs> bluff pocket twos here? Yeah, I'm, I'm considering the same thing. We may not. It's too good. Hmm. I'm curious. I, I suspect our strategy on this turn is going to be a lot of 150s. But I would like to see it. We went small flop. Maybe if we'd gone big flop, we would bluff turn. 
because we went small, we'll put it in our showdown bucket. Once this gets to river, I'm happy to check back. I think he has queen high and jack high in range. Yeah, yeah. That's what we were going for on the turn. Just trying Exactly. to get to showdown now. And since we get a check on river, it's beautiful. Take her showdown. Yep. I cannot imagine betting And this you for just anything. put stupid eight. Yep. <laughs> Queen eight. Yep. Check nine. It's fine. Don't even have a flush draw. Then we can look at that hand. See our flop strategy and then our turn strategy. I think flop, we can have some like quarters and probably some halves. Flop will do like everything. Ooh, Yeah. so we were right. Oh, I think a lot never on mind. the flop. Yeah, basically It's actually 100%. only small, huh? Yeah. Either smaller or smaller. 40%? Uh, this is the new Yeah, 40% 25, sizing, 38. no? There's 50 creeping in, so that impulse is like sensible. 25, Twenty five forty, right? Then the turn. 40. Uh, let's try to identify. Sorry, Tim. Uh, I was going to say, like, don't worry about it. I was going to try and figure out what it's doing with those two sizes, but they're they're quite close, so I'm not. we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so a lot of red when we bet the turn, so that's over, Uh, oh yeah over bad. yeah so it's mainly 150 and 100 and the difference between those two sizes is not that important Oh, we don't even bluff pocket two. yeah We, yeah, there's, 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 it's a real simple. Those are all marginal made strategy. I mean, even interesting your king, you're your kings become marginal made after that size bet, after you range bet. you You're right, although I'm interested to see that King Queen, not 100%. King Queen can still value bet for pot. Yeah, yeah, your best kings can still bet. Wow. That's uh, that's something. I would never be slamming pot button. King Queen on turn. So the aces kind of break down to like everything above the seven versus everything beneath. The 150 size is more like vulnerable one pair hands. So that's ace queen, ace jack, ace 10, ace nine, ace eight, all slightly vulnerable to two pairs and stuff and super strong hands. The What hundred is this block is slightly here? weaker hands. There's a big block here. What is it? Junk. Air. <laughs> It's like air that unblocks his flop floats, right? This is a jack, so it blocks a straight. The 10 blocks a straight or the flush. 9 Exactly. 6. What's Well, it's, 9 6? it's going to block. No, no, I'm saying it unblocks his flop floats. Like, it, it doesn't block jack 10, queen 10, queen 9. Like, all the like high card stuff he showed up with jack 9. I mean, the 9s block them. Actually, the 10s block them too. All right, what am I saying? And it's <laughs> well, no, For but like it's it's 8 high 6 low, and so stuff, it can get right? folds from like a weak pair or queen high or a better jack. Pair. Like jack six can bet and get jack ten to fold, maybe, or a really bad king to fold, or bad three to fold. Are those spades? A lot of them, but not everything. But there's just a lot of them, I'm betting. Period. Okay. Weird. So queen high never really bets, which kind There, of makes sense. I don't. I think a lot of us would know to slow down with queen high here. there's another block here, but this one is just a real junk, right? Yeah, Mm -hmm. pocket threes doesn't really bet. Or sorry, not pocket threes. Three x doesn't really bet. I think it's pretty. Yeah, all your middling stuff checks, right? All your queen high checks, because it's good enough to check. All your jack, good jack high checks. And then the like junky Everything, stuff under that is going to bluff. yeah, so And it's the like value your is betting going to range is like your best blast. king plus. Your best king, and then your top pair, and your two pairs. See, see, in that last one, cards like jack six off. Are they double blocking straights? Yeah, the straight and the flush. So if you have it... Yep. All right. It's the spade and the jack. Yeah, okay. So like when the river is a five, that hand is going to Mm. bluff a lot because it blocks some, some straights that come Yeah. in. Yeah. You Ditto have the if the double river is a fake queen or a ten. draw. The triple Yeah, exactly. fake draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nope. You can bluff a spade, a 10, or a 6, or a whatever, you know? Exactly. Yeah. And the solver has a mix of them to bluff at oh, all the possible river cards. <laughs> nice a six i made my fake straight let's go Exactly. Uh, we get it in good, probably. Probably calls us with
Queen Jack. Whatever it is, it's not going to be very good. Oh, that's as good as it gets. Anymore. It's a monster. We're going to split Eight, seven suited is jamming yeah. all day. Jam the At other. this depth, I think so, right? Just open jam? Yeah. No. Definitely. It's slip oh, wow. jamming, so, is it? I thought we saw so it. so close, though. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's it's the same EV. I'm not worried about it. No, a limp calls off, right? It was jamming as the big blind as well, oh. as what we saw. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, we don't need to jam it now, do we? Do we? Do we not need to do to jam? I think calls no, I think is better. Jamming's kind of dusty at this point. We're not getting a fold. Jamming, you say? Or... You wouldn't think so, oh. but he <laughs> might have some folds. I don't know. No. I like calling. No. The machine might fold some. Not when this... we call, there's still some flops we can fold. I don't think anyone yeah. puts four big blind out here to fold to a jam. But the way he put his chips in there, did you look at his hand? He's not folding. Call. I don't think calling's a core, a third of your stack here with eight eyes. Great. Okay. No, it's cool, man. We're just we're just paying three we big positions. Have... Yeah, we have equity, we have position. Oh, it feels bad. Jeez, here's a third of the stack here. Oh, we have there a pair. <laughs> oh, then you flop <laughs> this an SPR of one. Woo. I kind of just want to get it in and call and or get, raise. Like, yeah, and get protection against like all anything other than a queen or an overpair. You can't raise a seven. You can't raise can't you? call call. We're in position. At this SP if you click, what if you click? Can't it? you? Four oh chips. Jam. Yeah. Hello. Just put it in. Jam. It's just like we're just so short. I mean look at you the how much this is in, in the, yeah. the turns of You guys how found you it. Out? You guys found it. All right. Cham it. This is yeah, I want to put his hands like he has a king jack. Ooh, he snapped he has you king. off. He has nothing. Yeah, king jack. Get it in good. Yeah. yeah. Happy days. Low or SPR make him fold it out. Make him like make him puke and then like say, screw this. I don't have to call. I'm like, that's fine. We're too deep here. You gotta raise, right? Yeah. Just raise. Yeah, I think calling's fine as well. Yeah. Woof. We have four spades. <laughs> It's crazy. I'm so happy. Uh, what happened? We opened. All right. We yeah, opened. We raised uh, I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to check back. I do too. Whatever we this do, again, there's a lot of checking in it. We're I definitely have a spade. So maybe we can bet one. But and we're so deep. It's not really a one kind of board. And it's though. such a drawy board. And we're, exactly, we're so deep. Like, is this hand gonna make really strong, really strong hands when when another fifty eight big blinds goes in on flop turn and river? Not well, often. We not can't. Often. We, we can bet and take. No, he has to fold some things there. I mean, yeah, he'll right. fold something, but I'd prefer to use like a a bluff that can get there by river. Sometimes you know, can this you just get, never gets there. Can you get like pocket five or a six to fold? I can't imagine he's folding. No, I really don't want to bet this hand. Okay. Um. Yeah. Not. They won't fold for one chip. That's for sure. And I think like it's betting a sliver mainly to give itself board coverage when you drill before on the turn. Like that's the. You just need to make sure that you don't. It's not the case that you never have bucket fours. Or it's unsolved. Or it's not solved down that far. Yeah, but I think I think a lot of those slivers are board coverage. It's like because it knows it's each other's strategy. So if the four comes and you get aggressive, he's like, I know you didn't turn a set, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna drill it on you. Well, that's you're saying if we bet flop, sorry, if we check flop in a four comes, Ex no, if we bet flop in a four comes, then he knows we didn't turn a set, but we could already have a set. So yeah, exactly. We could have strong hands, that. but that's like a very important strong hand that we were missing. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Um, yeah. I don't know. So we check the turn. I don't really need to call this. <laughs> this like sucks. Six pair heads up. I think it's yeah. then if you if you do call. Sixth pair. I love it. Yeah. We yeah, it's basically ace high, right? Wanna call? Yeah, it? we just I... Yeah, okay. So it's like the EV you can see is close, but you just don't need it. You have you have other other cards. Do you call without the spade? Mm. No, it doesn't matter because there were no because it, there were no bets. Yeah, I kind of agree. He didn't have to float his spades to get here. 
right. I think the spade is irrelevant, and I think the I hardest. Agree. He can be well, sitting he there. Would, with, like... He would often stab spades on the turn. And turn one yeah, check, he'll go check. both ways, but he can just be sitting there with like king five offsuit. There's just so much stuff that we that the four spades is not relevant to. All right, we remove Wait. turn bluffs, but he didn't bet turn, therefore, it's good to have the spade. I think it's good, yeah. It unblocks some of his river bluffs. Oh, All right, I'm backwards. Fuck Same me. as usual, spade is bad. Spade is bad, heart is bad. I don't know. Twist my mind in knots trying to figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> check, 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 check. You don't, don't want to block the bluffs. That's just it. If you're a hero, you just don't want to have a spade. Yep. You need club but how diamond. often is he checking spade, spade on the turn? He must, he must have some weird frequency for some things that he ends up bluffing on the river. Otherwise, it wouldn't yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Maybe stuff going for a check raise or whatnot. Two, this I think, think we just call. Do we just call? This one feels very close. It's a little good to just call, but... Yeah, I kind of agree. It's, I agree it's yeah. an extremely strong hand. I want a three bet, I think. I don't hate three betting. You want to call a three bet? I'll make it seven I think I want, and a half. I think I want to call mainly because I want my my four my three betting range to be a little bit more polarized. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Very oh, heavy. Oh. So probably as you move up, it becomes more of a pure three bet. And here, this one's like allowed to mix. Oh, well, let's see if he can dance. Oh, he can he can? Got that. Oh. It's time to start with a bet, I think. Yeah, in a three bet pot, our ace high doesn't have that much showdown. We are interested in getting folds from other ace highs, like other like ace five, ace six, ace seven, maybe ace eight. Under pairs, good eights, mm, stuff like that. I don't know. The little 25 or 50. I think we're interested oh, we're in very getting deep, folds huh? from. I mean, shoot, we're not going to fold out anything that beats us, are we? I yeah. think what under pairs mean? are the ones. Like, he should have a, a fair amount of under pairs here, right? Okay. Yeah, they'll fold. Start with a little quarter. A quarter, a 25? I want to go a third, but I don't have a third. Yeah, so it's in there, it mixes. Hmm. And I think other ace highs, like like ace of clubs in particular, it's got to be a little, like, we'll, we'll get that hand to fold eventually. Yeah, we're targeting pretty thin, which explains, I think, why we're seeing quite some checking. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I think we size up a little bit. He just folds, and we're winning. Happily. Yeah, and Seven he folds five. chunk that we were beating yeah. anyway, right? He, he called the tree bet pretty wide, did he not? So this is the range we are supposed to tree bet with. All right, so A7... Good enough. I think I was going to go like a little bit too often with these. But okay. Well, look at the offsuit kings. You can dance. Suited connectors. All right. So we tree bet. Look at the calling range. So much disrespect here. Seven, four suited. Six three suited. Louis the knit. Can never give me crap for flatting a three bet again. Heads up. <laughs> Everything's heads up once it folds back to me. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so very wide calling ranger. Yeah, I almost did a spit take there. <laughs> Ten four. Huge disrespect, no? You, you look at the guy, you look at 10 for suit, and then... No, actually, this is respect, right? You got to believe your opponent is insane to call with 10 4, right? Because what? He's... No, it's just like, I mean, insane, but if he has like ace 5 offsuit, then like you have equity. Ooh. 
position, plus you're kind of deep. All right, so we can call him. Yeah, what was And the we have an ego. <laughs> We're like, ah, I'm better than this guy. I'm going to get him Fuck with this 10 guy. 4. Yeah, fuck this guy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Can't forget the ego. I'll play, po I'll play in post when all the good players <laughs> tell themselves to make bad decisions. Yeah, I can outplay in post. Wait, Oh. it was King Jack 10 or King Jack? King Jack 10? Three bed pot? Oh, okay. Then we'll have that nice seven. So it bets plenty. Kind of weird construction. Like a bunch of our sets are slow playing. Our kings are all betting. Yeah. Look at Jackson Tens. And then you're checking a lot with pocket pairs. And then you're just like blasting it with like aces, king, queen, ace, king. And seven, six, two. Nine, seven, six, two, dude. <laughs> Sweeted. All the. The Gotta have it back. Why Gotta have this it. part is betting. Just total trash. Yeah. Look at nine seven off. You want real trash. Nine six off. Nine seven off is a gutter. It's a double gutter. It's not trash. It's a it's a premium made. Here's the double wait, wait. All right. Jack ten off. You're pushing. We raising. Or we just take back. I say we check back. A nine six. That was the non that was no gutter. Uh um, I guess it. sure. Jam or check? check. I kind of agree because oh, like check. I don't really want to bet this hand and face up re-raise. We need Almost some of that like... stuff in our range. Yeah, yeah. Check's nice. So we're gonna check raise. How about that? Yeah, check jam. Oh, look at this. It wants you already. Like, oh, you can start betting now. I guess lint pot. It's like, it's oh no, oh, a nine two. Jesus Christ, how bad! But he would bet every nine, so a lot of nines. I think, yeah, he, he would go ahead and bet, yeah. So it's all it's kind of okay. And then we have the diamond, right? So, you want to bet one, you want to bet 1.5. Uh, you got a donk here, right? Three. No, it's paired, right? So we can't blast it anymore. So it has to be one five. Yeah, or one maybe. Or one. Yeah. yeah. So it pairs. We need to be cautious. And I'm sure he folded air. Yeah. We just it's... Uh... this is good enough to limp. Our limping range is polarized between premiums and trash. And the kind of it's mediocre stuff to... jams. Uh, I and think this is way too good to jam. We can't give him a free lunch with that kind of hand. I yes, you can. Raise call. No? You, you keep no, you keep these hands into a deuce. It's uh again the limping range is polarized between premiums and trash. Well, Tim, say we we call, he checks back, he realizes equity with like seven deuce. Click it. Yeah, can't Click it. Win. Click it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Tim. <laughs> Oh my we already God. saw it, man. Like we already saw it. <laughs> huh? Lim's call. Now, of course, this is dependent on him having a sufficiently aggressive raising range. If your opponents yeah. in the game aren't raising you enough, then like it may be that a better option, a different option. Yeah, yeah in game yeah. you don't really need to even play limps because you could just raise every hand, basically. Yeah, yeah. They're not Spot is all in, I'm just holding. calling. Uh oh. mm, I want to go all in. You want to go all in? I don't know. I can. Okay. I can see. Call I, I limped this to jam it. I did not limp. Yeah, this yeah exactly. Well, it's just the super nuts. Like he gets it in here with King Jack and King Ten and whatever. And aces. And aces. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no. Okay, Queen. I think off. this hand makes an attractive jam. Queen Jack off. You gotta. Gotta raise something though. Yeah, again, you remember under 12, we don't really have a min raising range. It's limping and jamming, and I think this makes a nice jam. Yeah, this is the one that oh, we like jammed that. like uh, like 60% or something, 80%. Okay, yeah. okay. 
Push it. This one and Jack ten off. I think he called with King three, right? Yeah, and we and we and we beat him. Pretty, Cause we just pretty ten call King three. You know? All right, just a jam. Is this just a jam? Four, two and a half. It's too Yeah, good to I think jam. it's. Yeah, I agree. I think it's too good to jam. Uh, I can see four or two and a half both. I like two I and can a half. go over two and a half. Because it's Yeah. just it's just so good. It's Yeah, like but more that of the um. that weird size that I never use. I gotta get used It's also to this. really Like you awkward have to be to put on the in floor. four and get flatted and then like <laughs> whiff the flop Yeah. and be like, well, I have the nuts pre, but now what's happening? SPR is under one. <laughs> This feels like a I big think size practice. Forty percent. more. I think smaller because like two. there's not that many overcards. We're only worried about king, right? We're not worried about knight or check. coming. I'm kind of worried And about a tree or a spade, honestly. eh, but like but I think there's a lot of hands. Like I mean, those are out there for sure, but there's a lot of hands like Jack. 10 of clubs, king, eight of hearts, like a lot of hands that are drawn pretty thin against us. Anything Yeah. in the first row is good. We had the nuts and we still have the nuts. Yeah, I think two is great. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought too. Oh. I think we're still just going to get it in for value. We're not worried that he really has two pairs or flushes that often. Right now, we just kind of need to deny the fourth one coming for free, right? Exactly. Yep. I think he still has, you know, he has king queen, queen jack, queen ten, queen nine, queen eight in range. Okay, so three. I would rip it. Yeah. I don't really intend to see a river card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you wanna you wanna play a river with this hand? I don't. Yeah, Oh, look at that. I can And he binks it. He's a fish. Uh, five. I can see. I can see raising big. I can see just almost just jamming. You I know, really want jamming. to go five this time, but jamming is better, right? Too short. We're twelve. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Oh, okay, God. six sixes. He had a boat. Just to make sure paying attention. Uh. This is a limb. Too deep. Raise. Right? No. Okay, then. Yeah, that's the thing. Have we looked at our 60 big blind opening strategy yet? No, I don't think I don't so. remember if we did. <laughs> I think like this hand, you want a limb call because now what do we do? We fold? It feels bad to fold this hand, man. You can call. No, you can definitely call. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to call three bets with King Pen off, Danny? Is that your wildest dream? This is my dream. We're playing the solver. He has bluffs. Let's No. rumble. No. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That was way too good to fold. You're not folding. There we go. Maybe I'm five going bluffs. to get stacked now. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> I want to go back kind of on. like... Mm -hmm. Finish this hand Click, and then I'll click ask our questions. node, Louis. Click our opening raise node. Okay, was not expecting that. Raise anything. The limping falls away around like 30, 40, I think. Tell me if I'm wrong, but what I see here is raise any two. Although just 60%. I think there's a little bit of everything here, no? Mostly. Well, Except for the offsuit junk junk. well, this was my question because Olivier Bousquet, his his strategy, if I remember, Raise when any two. all the heads up sit when he was doing all the heads up sitting goes, was he open raised everything on the button to two big lines. 
Okay. There was no decision, there was no decision until after that. Well, it's very close to that, right? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And back then, he certainly could get away with it. I think he probably can still get away with that in most scenarios. Yep. Wow. Do we just call because it's a three bad pot? Or do we raise because of SPR? I can. Great question. I can see we don't it. Have it's a such a small bet. It's like we're not really protecting against anything with the raise or getting value from. This is the uh, worst king, though, right? That we call the three bet with. So we are here with the worst. Well, we, we we'll have a lot of ones. worse suited ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I could see a little clicker here for sure. But for sure, we're gonna like click the most with our best ones. I think like king queen, you know, nice one. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason to to indicate anything about the strength of our hand right now. I don't see any reason to make it easy for him to get away from something, and he often has a beat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's fair. It's not trying. It's, it's just trying to put in money when we think we have the best hand, right? It's value. Question is like, what can you get value from? Do you think you have the best hand? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, at a fair clip. Probably, I think so. But I don't think I'm going to fold by the river if it runs out clean. Because like, because he definitely has like, you know, ace, queen, ace, ace, jack, ace, 10, pocket queens, pocket jacks, pocket 10s, pocket nines. So let him keep Some suited kings, king nine, king eight, king seven. That's We're in position. Clip. When he checks, we can, we don't have to ever let a street go um, unbet if we don't want to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you, you see the solver sees it both ways. It's like, yeah. yeah, you can raise this a little bit. It's fine. I'm yeah. clicking. Calling is easy. Yeah. But the, ch the chances of him having a, a better king when there's only nine cards being played in total must go way down from a full ring. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and his range you know, is so, so wide. He's got all kinds of negative ASX crap that now beats us. Yeah. And <laughs> so much for running out. This, this was the disaster. That's why it, you can I mean, it's a little bit of an right? mistake. It could have been worse, <laughs> but not much worse. I mean, I'm looking at that thinking. But he checks. Four, 43 cards not being played, basically. Yeah, exactly. So after he Which checks, he... this is an easy check back, I think. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> we're very happy to see the check back. We think he might still have a worse king sometimes, right? Like he can still be in here with a king rag. He can bet twenty five big blinds. Hey, hey, yeah, he checked. And I don't think I want to bet this because I think his bluffs will, will rip us apart on a three flush. I think we have to yeah, value uh, bet here. Go for a showdown. But the problem is you can't you can't value but small no because you then you reopen the action against the player who's out of position and will tear really don't you do apart. it. Don't do it. You're betting second pair with no flush blockers. Yay. Like, Look at the AV. He's bad. You lose 60 big blinds per hundred doing that. Yeah, I think his range is going to be a lot of trashy stuff that we beat and a small number of either bluffs that can they can uh, Dish it back to us or value that's gonna take us to town. I would check back here. Seems good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I sure think that. so. Check it, check, 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 check. This hand can flop a pair. <laughs> flop two pair. Yeah, we can't flop two pair. I told you we can flop a pair. <laughs> All right, limped pot. It's kind of interesting. Check. Um, not the it's best. Like, what board. is his? I mean, his range is kind of all over the place. All right, got he call has one. some top of range, like slow plate stuff. Like he has aces, kings, queens here. Oh, here comes yeah. the bar. <laughs> just call. <laughs> you, you, don't just call. you don't need the call ball when you're calling. Find yeah, the we have backdoor seven. straight. And backdoor oh, flush. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh. Look at, well, look that's on we got graphics. <laughs> this is stressful. Yes. Very kind of a bad turn card. And we're gonna get the bar in. Now we have the easy check full. No bar. Yeah, we Although we turned in. a gutter, but 
<laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> Is there anything else outs. to do but to check? We're out of position, and now we're gonna fold. fold. I don't wow. want to. <laughs> we have the gut shot, right? And the pair. Fold. We have a gut fold. shot on a flush on a board that's already a flush. Yeah, exactly. Ten of spades comes. How do you feel? So I what? Do you guys say no? Up. We don't fold. We fold. It, it is heads oh. up, but I'm still gonna fold. Oh, no. look at this. Okay, okay. Oh, it's heads up. Point zero three. Point zero three. Look at this. We got the ten is coming, Tim. Ten of spades is coming. <laughs> coming. Not the come spades. On. No. Seven of clubs. Okay, the ten didn't come, but we still got hopes. Maybe he'll give up with um. Yeah, you can give up with some bluffs. We got Hope Van Dyne. Check. Check, 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 check. Okay. Please check. Well, well, well. Second place isn't that bad. How did we get here? We got here because the solver told us to call the turn. All of a sudden, folding the turn is looking really good, isn't it? Ooh. I wish I'd told How many time. times we asked the same questions, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my oh, gosh. No! No! Oh, no! No! Listen, sometimes. And then you got to call your backers and tell them that you stationed it off of fourth field. Listen, sometimes you have to put Not your a flush feet cord. Down. He has no. ace nine of spades. The this man is has nine up, of spades. Flip the cards over. Flip this the cards is over. enough. This is enough. This I man. See a block. A nasty call. One time. <laughs> nasty call you say <laughs> show me call. the 10 8 with a spade oh 10 there it oh, is baby oh, oh, oh. let's go <laughs> with the spade the, the, don't try this at home all right who's gonna do that then to okay then that you just call your hacker and tell him you took first because you're a genius and a gto wizard and you soul read him and white magic and whatever oh my god i called down a guy with threes yesterday <laughs> how'd that go it was yes Yes. Is this a race or just a check back? I think it's a good race. The tree? We saw a seven mixing before, so like a eight is probably good enough. Was it a twenty five? I don't remember, but still, it's a good hand. We can follow up on this. We can bet this. Yeah, a little. I don't know, a little half pot. You went say a bit bigger. Two. A little, a little, a little two, a little three. Say we check. Say we check. We're heads up, out of position. You can yeah, but we have a good hand. Point. We're we have second pair top picker. This is a monster. I bet we are checking less than fifty-eight percent. That's my prediction. Okay. Fifteen is less knit, than fifty. Knit, 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 knit. Oh, call me knit. <laughs> I didn't you got to pot it for value. I value. For value. Wow, I'm so out of line. Pot it for value. And I was thinking half pot. <laughs> He's blasting with second pair. Oh. Oh, that man. Is blasting, please. It's so good. The only question is just like, how do you, what's the best way to get the money in? Six. Bet an amount that a flush draw calls? Check. Yeah, I don't hate that. I'll look at keys. Check. It's like we already three bet. You're insane. So like checking's, checking's kind of weird. I can see checking. I can see betting three. I can see betting six. Um, right, I don't six. Want to, we give the flush draw too much. Too good a price. Check. Check. There you go. Check. Why you want to check here, Danny? I was feeling check. Um. Check. Okay. okay. All right. The SPR is one. Even... So even if it goes check, check, we can still get the river okay. jam in okay right and yeah, I mean, this allows him to there, though. sorry straight draws, guess... flush draws i mean yeah, yeah but, but the heads up like... ranges are quite wide this lets True. him i guess like when we bet floats. we like our range like what's our what's our best value bets on flop jacks queens kings um and good tens like king 10 queen 10 well ace 10 Right, like this um, should downgrade a lot of our range in theory. So it's still exactly. Won't have some we're not crap, blasting but... away with ace high, but he can call ace high. He can end up in a three bit pot, have a hand like I don't know, ace jack of hearts or something, and be like, okay, I have overs, like I'm good, like call. 
and then he will think mistakenly that he has turned a good hand but he's dead and our range is our range is not that wide now the ranges are not that wide because we we potted the flop right uh oh sorry we potted the flop yeah yeah, yeah. so how much asex do we really have when we pot the flop none well no that's not true we got ace 10 we got uh, uh, like no he means he means not two pairs like hearts or, or a flush draw asex yeah spades. Uh, spades yeah we do have a bunch of aces but uh okay no spr is one we can still jam the river that's the best explanation i heard if he has ace x of space he might be betting large now no yeah he might do the betting himself yeah exactly yeah i think he can have like an ace jack type hand even yeah he can have all right wait, wait 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 this is important that we get this right as well because like all right, baby why bag. are we checking here we're checking to protect our range um so are we gonna jam this one or are we gonna go for the call and let him bluff river i think with no spade in hand and no straight blockers of any kind i think this makes like a kind of appealing jam it's um it is quite good but i mean jam, we could end up jamming like is less than pot, so we could have like gonna jam on the river anyways it. sorry yeah, ace-10 off that has ace of spades in hand or something like that, that could make a more attractive slow play to me. Okay. Um, will he call off a 10 here to our jam? Probably. We were just calling off 7x seven, seven in that other hand, right? Yeah, he goes so small. Other, I think other mainly than jam. What, what else calls? And I think we have a lot of like very intuitive bluffs. There's no completed equity on the board, so we can bluff like a million like gut shots with a single spade or high low spades or just like all kinds of crap. So we we have plenty of bluffs to go with this value. All right, so this one is jamming. No straight blockers, no flush blockers gives us an incentive to fast play. Yeah, nice. okay. yeah and he bets yep. so small, we really don't want to just like let him get that tiny turn bet and then check check the river, right? Exactly. That's that was my idea. Rip it. Ribbit. No, no, no. Rip it real good. We're too deep to rip. Limb and then call a raise or, or, or jam. Oh, what do I rip? Do? Rip. Okay, so why rip this combo over other things? Uh, I mean, you tend to, yeah, like we're too deep. No. We no, saw that 15. We stopped to jam. We min raise. Why are we still? No, you stop jamming with a lot of hands. You still have a uh, all in range, and it's mainly like deuces, threes, and ace rag. This, these are the exact hands that, that rip up to about 20 or so. It's the stuff that way. has enough equity, but really plays poorly post flop. Yep. Just think about all the hands you get folds from. Like eight, four suited is slipping against you. Like, it's not fun. Like, get that hand to fold. So, yeah. You can look at it up to about 20 yeah, e. deuces and threes. I think you guys got lucky, no? When you limp, you have to play post. And you're Are you like not playing fours and fives like that? Set mining often. No, no. Fours and fives can limp rejam or just raise. Okay. No, we didn't get lucky I mean, I probably tricks. would be guilty of jamming these small ones too often. So it's good to I see mean, that. If you ripped fours, like whatever. It's, it's fine. Free lunch yeah. here or just a raise? No uh, raising really. Um, at under twelve and under, it's going to be call or all in. Jam. This is a good jam. It's a fine jam. Yeah, I think it's cuspy. I think it works both ways. Oops. If you're calling, you're calling to induce. You're calling to call it off, right? It's above your all in range. It's the top part of your polarized range. Oh. Yeah, I agree with that. And then it's what's the worst that... king you call? It's again. It's it's just based around your um, your all in range. It'll be everything above versus everything below. It's like probably like, I don't know, king seven suited maybe. It's kind of cuspy. At what that was at twelve, right? Raise. Yeah. 
I think we see that every time. Yeah. Uh, any two, right? When we raise or heads up, ace, jack type of board. C bet 1.6 then. This, yeah, a little, a little bit tiny. The thing is, like, this is a hand class that I'm not really that excited to be bluffing with because it's so good. Yeah, but you're, you're range betting. Yeah, exactly. So you just, you, you get like the cheapest protection against like two undercards, which have some equity, but then. Yeah, it's fine. Just bet tiny. Yep. You also and you also get you get protection against two undercards that have uh, bluff equity. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you yeah. might find it hard to play on future now streets. Now it's time to be done. Yep. Yeah, because our bluffing, we're going to be hyperpolar here, like one hundred fifty percent pot, and we're bluffing like good aces and spades and hearts and so this is the same like spot for the this is the over bet spot you say yeah but this hand checks this is king high oh. what, louis what are you doing this is not a this doesn't fit in a polarized range man i just want a barrel this hand's <laughs> good. done we're done you, you have you're barely you're bluffing with the best hand dude you king high i do That's that up. every time <laughs> it's one of my favorite play bluffing with the best we are hand. done No, again, we're the value range is like good ace, ace x plus to two pairs and sets, and the bluff range is like gutters, sets, or excuse me, gutters, spades, and hearts, right? And this hand is not a gutter, a spade, or a heart. So yeah, queen nine, queen ten, bluffing, high low spades, king four, king three, king deuce, stuff like that. Not king deuce, king four, king three, king five. Good aces like ace seven plus ace nine plus. All right, and we can learn like uh, worse kings as well. Right. What are those king four king? Four? What are those kings? Do? Oh, those, those front are front door, back door, and then I love flush draws. Flush draws. And king six is weird. And yeah, starting at king nine, it preserves to take your equity. I think it figures you're up against like eight x and two x a lot, and you have two life cards against those hands. Easy check back. We have the best hand sometimes. You don't bluff kings. Here. We don't. We have bluff. no interest in bluffing this hand. Blocks nothing relevant. And it wins. It wins. It wins. That's the point. That's when you flash him the "I'm so good" react. And... You want a limp here? I think so. Raise, you raise more like Jack H X seven off. It's a pretty attractive hand to barrel. It's gonna make it's gonna make or block a lot of strong hands and a lot of a lot of runouts. We have a spade. I think we can bet a little bit here. Yeah, I agree. And and all the interactivity with the queen and the seven, like. Hmm. All right, Sovereign's holding it in reserve, but it's not bad. EV's mm. not close. Okay, and I'm curious here. Like, Maybe why? Too. So we're definitely going to bet, what, like, queens and sevens for value? Probably not sixes that much. And then maybe bluff a little bit worse or some, like, high-low king stuff. I'm really surprised we don't get to bet the uh, spades here. I would yeah, like to too. bluff. And I would like to bluff with at three bit I would like to bet three big blinds on my bluff. So it looks like looks like it's more like 
high low spades like i see that king five king four king three king deuce is pretty lit up okay so look at this it picks hands that can make a straight with a spade instead of a jack 10 off we're gonna pick jack nine off well, I mean, I was gonna make a straight two, but yeah, or more, more interactivity with the seven six. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, yeah, back door, back door, but you got more outs here, right? Not really. Yep. Do you? Does Jack hate? Yeah, I think so. Because three to a straight makes a uh, makes more straights than because ours is like double back door. It has to be either eight okay, nine yeah. specifically. Okay. Can Jack nine make Jack King ten nine. Fold? One is runner, runner, perfect, and the other one is a open end. If exactly. if we bet with Jack Nine, will he fold Jack Ten with no spade? I don't think so. Can you look? I would. What kind All of right. sets? Uh, whatever it's using the. Uh, I mean, not for one. I guess you're right. Yeah, probably not for one. Bet two. Okay, so my takeaway here is um, two. It will, but click one yeah. so we see, because that's the primary size, right? One or one and a half. My takeaway here is that the main bluff cards are the eight and the five. Yeah, that's my takeaway. Louis, can you bet so one have instead? Us, have us bet one, and then hover it because it's gonna mix probably, or will it be pure? Yeah, yeah look holds. at that. Yeah. So that also, holds. it's like the six seven interaction, and then just also like the pure showdown value. Jack nine can make yeah. Jack ten fold. Jack ten's already beating some stuff, so we don't. Have can't to really make king high fold. Well, I guess right. I'm trashy yeah. king high. It's but... the best Jack high. <laughs> yeah, king three will fold. Yeah, but yeah. My best Jack high. That's the. <laughs> I would like to call the turn, please. Yeah, given that turn. Well, although we're like we don't connect with that straight at all. But maybe we don't have to. Oh, but we didn't Forest, we didn't bet flop, we checked flop, didn't we? You currently have us betting flop and we check flop. So he checks. Where is everybody today? They came in. They everyone party. walked in, but they everyone walked out. <laughs> Heads up. Everyone was like, I like taking second in tournaments. I don't need to learn this. I, I've seen like, <laughs> we had like over 50 people joining and leaving in like three minutes. Huh. <laughs> yeah, we're only six in here. The few and what the are. crowd. Yeah, yeah. People don't get All it. All right, so I have a big blind check and let's see what our bluffing range is. I think kind of thinking we want hands that are not this. Yep. Yep. And still like the the three first to pick the jacks that have straight line of action. And high low stuff. I would like to bluff this one though. Yeah, well, still not that much. It's allowed, yeah. but it's oh, it's big. When you Look do this, it. you got too much equity here for with this. Mm. You don't want to bet fold a spade here. Yeah, you need the jack of spades. It wants the jack of spades. And even yeah, too much equity. Oh, we improved. Oh, yeah. We improved to, to jack high on a king high board instead of jack high on a queen high board. Right. Wanna wanna bluff, Danny? No, no, we improved. Check. Check. Show long. Check and win. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And he right. gave up three high. You were right. Huh. He didn't bluff his three high. Make it five? No, this hand's too good to go that big with, right? Two? Yeah, I wanna yeah. use the sucker size. Little milker. That's what they call what me. else? Like, what are we two and a half with? That uh, is it all just nuts? Yeah, yeah, it's it's like nuts and blocker bluffs, right? I'm sure there'll be some like I don't know, king six Maybe off aced. or something like that in there. Okay, okay, something real trashy. So I, 
Yeah. It's more like two. Speaking of milker sizing, what does it mean to piece off? Uh, I think it's to call. Okay. Wait, to piece piece off? Yeah, he's gonna piece. Yeah, I've 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 heard that phrase now. Um, he, you know, he'll piece off with a jack. I thought it would be like for me, piece off means say goodbye. It... Like I would think that would be fold. fold I but... guess what it meant was was for you me, can it get sounds you, like piss off. Get it. You can get him to call, you know, three big blinds, and then you can get him to call five big blinds, and then you can get him to call eight. You know, you, he'll he'll give you money in little pieces, but I don't know if that's what it means. Mm. All right. Raise here. Raise. Check. We've got. We've got. It was just waste. We just check down. I guess. Wait. Did we check flop? Yes. How often was a uh, flop a check? Majority. Seventy percent check. Thirty percent bet. Okay. It sounds like you have Peter over at your house, Scotty. <laughs> uh, I think we call once. One bullet. This hand sucks. This hand sucks. Man, he bets. I don't know. We're really so we have those. So like... I'm, I'm a station. Yes. Don't try to bluff me. Yeah, but like with us being so deep, like it's really important to have playability on the river cards, and like a single spade would give us something to work with here in a way that this hand doesn't have. Mm. Well, now we have to fold. We don't have a spade. Mm. Just station it off and see what happens. Oops. Yeah. He was. Uh... He has the floosh. Okay, so I say we check. Yeah, checking seems fine. I need hands like this, and I'm checking. Great. Out of position. It's up. Check. Oh. The bet won. Okay. Oh, my goodness. The slider. You know what? I realized something. The slider only appears when it's a call. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Check call. Read. Oh, look at that. Look at that. But now it's definitely a call. Easy, easy. Lemon, squeezy. Oh, even easier. Definite check call. Is this ever a lead now? No, Ow. not on the top one. Oh, pairing, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. This has just become a very easy check call. Hmm. Yes. All right. Good call. luck, us. Call. I'm not folding this ever. No folds. 100% call. Yeah. The Let's king pair makes it less likely as a king. Oops. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you guys got Mark hands? Probably. That's some, I got something. I'll get it ready. All right. Let me know when you guys are ready. Uh, got a call here. Check. We got a seabed here. One. So we raise pre flop. We get this board. We got a seabed, right? And then. It's a monotone board. There's locked up equity. You don't want to blow the pot too big. You just want to stab, see if you can win. I say it's a one. It's a two or check. All right, two or check. All 
Probably more of a... I think because all the high cards are on board, you actually get some sizing up. Ah, uh, maybe. That's why it's... Yeah. And then maybe you don't get a, a, get to bet as much because of that as well. Because mm -hmm. everything's out there. So what do you have? You know? Not a flush. Not very often. 6-7 suited this time again? 5-4 suited? Yeah. Wrong color. <laughs> Who knows? No, nobody knows. No, they're they're never gonna know. How would they know? So here, it's using weird sizing. It's checking most of the time, and then it's polarizing some. With the off top bet followed by a turf. With like good ASEX and. Huh. Probably spades. Look at 5 4. Spades and like 10 5 of clubs and stuff, right? So the 10, the 10 is a factor here. You want to bet a 10? Even, yeah, for the 10, you don't even need a spade. And it's funny. Some queens, too. A, a bad queen. Because a good yeah, queen ones, isn't, yeah. isn't, isn't doing that. They're in showdown mode. Yeah, best showdown hand, you're right. Okay. I want a limb here, but it's probably a jam because we're too short. This makes good jam. Mm -hmm. It's not like trashy, like the limp fold range. It's not nutted like the limp ball range. I want to raise here. Very good. Oh. Got to get out, I guess. Yeah, I think we're cooked. What's the worst king we call? Suited? King 10? I think this so. This is so huge. We don't need a lot of hand to get in here. Or, sorry, we do need a lot of hand. We don't need to call very often. Thirty bigs, right? Pretty big jam. King yeah, jack. from him, that's gonna be like lower pairs and like trashy aces mainly, right? Do you call you, queen jack suited? Probably supposed to. Yeah. Did you check the king? The what our lowest king was? It's coming. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Okay. what's your guess, Cody? I said king. I said king ten. King ten, huh? King nine is in there. All right. I said maybe king nine. I did say. Maybe. Oh, it's funny because king queen off versus king ten suited, right? Uh, I think we check back suited hand. Want to realize equity? Which we did. We check, and then we check raise. Yes. Come on, bet small, bet small. Oh, he heard us. <clears throat> well, let's bet. Uh, why? I don't. I don't think we get to. Because we have a draw. Thing. We bet our best hands in our draws, and this is a draw. Okay. Yeah. Draw okay. can call. Um, draw can call a raise. Can't okay. call a jam. Okay. Yeah, it was it was limped up till here. Uh, we're gonna bet. I think huge. Like if this hand's trying to get folds, it's trying to get folds from ace high and pairs. Which so are we hammer pairs. a little one fifty? It's a pair board. That's I don't think it's gonna be good. Yeah, or one hundred. Uh let's try seventy. Oh, <laughs> gotta go check. Back. I like check. I mean, I think that's fine. We still have showdown value. Remember, it's queen high. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, we just call and we wanted to check raise the we wanted to check raise the flop when we had two cards to come. I, I can imagine check raising. I'm I'm sure calling is fine. Nah, it's gonna call. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right. Yeah, we beat all the other queen highs. Well, yeah, I don't know. The ten is still good. Let's call. Well, we just often have the best hand as well. Eee, now, I don't know. We improved again. It sounds check. likely he has an ace. Turbo check, right? Yeah. Hey, come on, win. Come on, win. We did? Yeah, you yeah, see. Yeah. Happy day. Absolute clear ball. All right, that hand's a good reminder to um slow Ooh. down with stuff with showdown value. Too good, man. Way too good, King Queen O. Gotta give him a chance to do something spazzy. Like 10 bigs. What's that? Maybe we should add more like shorter stack depth. Down to seven. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Because in my mind, Honestly, it's, it's not... wild, but it's like jamming it up. Oh, we have a spade here. Have a decently good hand. We can bet one. Yeah, but yeah, best unpaired hand. You're betting for value, not as a bluff. You're trying to get called by hands like King Jack, Queen Jack, Queen Ten, King Ten. That's okay. It's then. King of Spade has to bet here, no? Well, but again, you're kind of like when you say King of Spade, are you doing that as a bluff? No, it's value. Okay. It's thin value. Yeah, it's like thin value and protection. Rippity rip. Or is this the four again? Oh, no, I think this four is the. Similar. No, no, this is More a hand This is it. Big blind facing a lamb. This is it. Oh, did ooh. You didn't scam him. <laughs> you scam him. <laughs> All right. Please. Open. Or limp I'm limp, limp calling here. Wanna keep things under control. We're pretty deep. Okay. Raise. Raise. Limper They're both good. They're both good. Keep things under control by raising and having him fold. <laughs> okay. Oops. Bet one or check. Bet one. Oh. Is this like the value bet ace high small type of? No, this or is... no, this is that a river play? This is check. This is check, check and check and call a small bet on the river. Yeah, I'm down to check. Lie about a big bet. Check and if he checks river, check again. Ooh. Probably yeah. check win. We were on what day is it today? On Monday we we were looking at spots like this where. We occasionally were finding a small value bet on the river with a sigh right. in position. You were here, right? Yeah. Oh, we double oh. barrel. Huh. So I was so wrong. Double barrel <laughs> here. Um. Charging spades, bluffing chops. No. Now we now we now we check right. Now we don't turn ace high into a bluff. Surely spades not. Yeah, spades didn't get there. Oh, what what beats you? Oh, oh you oh. dirty dog! <laughs> if if you don't, if you check the, if if you bet the the river, what what beats you there though? On that last hand. What's well, more about what uh, you can get value from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you check, he still has some bluffs. If you bet he calls, there's no value for your hand. Ah, uh, I see. I understand. I see. I see. Good, good, good perspective. I like it. I think we check here. We need these kind of hand in our checking range. We're, we raise, he push, we're in trouble. Check call. Bet the turn. Check call. 
Hey, you know why it's a call, Scotty, right? Oh, it's a call. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's got some. It's got. This is the first one where it isn't a pure call. Yeah. So he doesn't have a lot of aces in his limping range. So our jack is good much more of the time. I guess it needs some protection against a queen and a king. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're not folding, uh, but I don't know why we're. I don't know why we're getting them off all the bluffs. So why 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 are we uh, why are we calling Louis, which we weren't doing as our main action? Well, the thing is, I'm in game here, Scotty. I wouldn't. I wouldn't find the raise button, honestly. Yeah, yeah. So is it uh, what it was. 2.5, like, yeah. I'm never doing that. No, it's the other one, orange. What's orange here? Is there lower? Two. We don't even have it. <laughs> I'm never doing that, honestly. No. It's not in my game. When he folds here, he's, he's folding all the hands that we don't care about him having. But I, I think it's really interesting because, as you said, he doesn't have enough aces. Then he bets one. We just, you know, get value from second pair. Now what? We bet three? Once we get called, I think we check. We go back to check call. Yeah, I think so too, right? We wanted to fold out some, like, queen eight type stuff and and yeah whatever else there may have been get value from a four do we ever like block no we 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 turn this into a bluff <laughs> no no we're value betting here it's fine uh, it's limp check out. pre right limp remember check. buddy you ace. said it he doesn't have an ace why not because he limped doesn't he limp um a lot of top range? No, yeah, not... top range stuff. Ace king, ace queen, ace jack. Does he? I think ace jack plus was limping. No, you should really look at it. yeah. You should check out the. Well, we saw it before because in one of the ranges there was not nothing above ace ten in range. Oopsie. Well, this one man. Yeah, he limps top of range and bottom of range, and he goes all in or raises. Um, that's BB. We need small blind. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Pre flop range. No aces. That's the, that's the big line. Small blind pre flop. Are we not? I are we not small blind? We're looking at him. We want to see what he said. He has no aces. We got to look at him. Okay, so there's a difference between 15 and 12. I was wrong. He has lots of. Oh, we're 15 here. Yeah, we're 15 here. Yeah, so he has. So he raises his suited ones, but then he limps as a trap because he wants to limp, re-raise all in, like ace queen off, ace ace king off, ace queen off, ace jack off, ace ten off. A lot of combos. Yeah, he has a lot of aces. Well, not the best ones, right? Yeah, no, that's his. A king, an ace queen, an ace jack. His pocket, are... He has pocket jacks. He has sets here. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Ace jack off, top two pair. Good hand. So I guess we are bluffing. <laughs> I don't know what's No, happening. no, we're value know, betting. It might be, it might be thin, thin value. And I think jack. with the, the king now, we we'll just have to check back. On the yes. turn, maybe you were like getting value from like some like diamond draws, combo draw type things. Like, I would yeah. check. Yeah, I want to check back. I don't want to keep it. Oh, third pair. Less third than pair. Half pot jam. I hate this. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Is this a bluff. Uh. Let's look at the yeah, equity. No, it's value. Yes, it's seven. clearly now a bluff, right? It's value. I mean, what? The and it's that 
it's the out of position thing where the money goes in better if you bet because then you get called by his marginal hands whereas if you check then you let him polarize around you which sucks in position you wouldn't really bet that hand all right well thanks a lot for watching everybody <laughs>